guys, today we are in Berlin, Ohio, in Amish country. Now, it's a little past five o'clock. The town's pretty well completely shut down. We know a lot of you guys that probably watch this have never been here. So we decided we would just walk down through the town and show you what shops they have in case you guys want to visit. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. All right, start off here at the top of the town at the Shia Market, which consists of a village gift barn, country gatherings, the garden, and a buggy brew coffee shop. This is one of my favorite stops. There's so many different things to see in these two buildings. Really nice. There's a lot of pottery down over there. I think there's even a Bigfoot down there. Yeah, there was a Bigfoot down here last time. Yep, down there he is. And they also get food trucks in here, what, the first and third Fridays yeah. of the month? In and, the summer. Right? Yeah, in the summer, and there's your village gift barn. And inside this building, I think, is the coffee shop. And this is where you kind of start your town walk. It's a good photo opportunity here if you want to get in pretend like you're Amish for a day. Look at the beautiful hanging baskets. Those are beautiful. They always have the prettiest flowers in this area. Yeah guys, this is uh, usually our first stop. We usually park here and then just kind of walk down through. But those are pretty. Something else they always have. They have a lot of nice fountains. Bobby found a nice chair. And those chairs are for sale. I always like listening to this fountain. Yeah. It's just so pretty. They have all this stuff in there for sale. And we'll do a store walk through sometime. See if this, this plant is $3.89. And that's for sale. So we can just come here also and just sit out on the front porch. Beautiful. Oh, just in case you were wondering, one of those chairs $500. Next thing you see, you come to the town, the Berlin Village Antique Mall. We've been in there and we also have been in the plain and simple diner. So if you want hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken wings, nice place to go. Plain and simple diner. Bobby, tell them what's across the street. Hoffman's Country Accent. Yep. That's where all the pretty candles and flowers are. Probably your favorite. That might be your favorite stop. That last one was nice too, but this one's becoming... It's probably my favorite, and then the one back there would be my favorite. All right, so we'll cross the street and go on down through the town. Love the little gazebo. Be careful getting in that. Beautiful place to sit. I'm going to walk up that way. Better look at Kaufman's. Just notice these... We come here all the time, we've never seen these fishing poles. Those are $24.95. Always have beautiful flowers here. They are beautiful. Nice place just to sit and watch the cars go by. Now we have come up on the Secret Garden. It says the most unique store in Berlin. Look at that owl up there. This is some different wind shots. Yeah, that is. That one is completely different. Got that. This one's going around. Some quilts out here. A lot of different wind chimes, but this one really sticks out. I like this one. Mel's buggy rides. They're back behind that antique mall that's where you catch the buggy ride somebody was beeping there's a nice draft well there was almost a wreck somebody pulled out and somebody and i wasn't taping out there that way well thank goodness there was nothing yeah to see. it says this place is still open there's some nice quilts right there secret garden Okay, this one stays open a little longer than some of them. Look at this. Hey, I 
That's a big, good sized dolphin. Okay, just left that store. This is the Red Poppy Modern Farmhouse Decor. I'm sure we've been in there, but I don't remember what's in there. Now you guys can see the town is really dead. The pottery niche. Polish pottery shop. Let's take a look in the window. Some decoration pottery in there. The Main Street Fudge and Popcorn Company. Right below it, Table Rock Pizza. 40 flavors of saltwater taffy. 60 flavors of popcorn. 200 flavors of soda, 50 flavors of fudge, hand dip, soft serve, ice cream, and they are still open. They must close at six. And the world's largest gummy bear, five pounds. have some businesses in here with some engineering and stuff in this building but this is the bargain bin now it's closed it has some uh, we've have bought a lot of nice stuff table mats different like they for do Christmas Halloween or fall really nice used to be two stores remember Bobby yeah I had this one and the one right next door looks like now they're just down to one because yeah, this is a pretty big store in here yeah we bought a lot of stuff in here, especially the table mats. Table mats are really nice. This one closed down. They probably didn't need two stores. Now we're getting into maybe one of the top restaurants up here. This is the, the Worthman House. If you can, might be a bed and breakfast. It says you can book it. You're home away from home. But right here, Boyd and Worthman Restaurant. Always a line out here. Now, before they never had these chairs, and I think last year they did put them out because there's just so many people. Oh, this place is always packed. It's been here since, I think, 1938 or 1940. Here's their hours. Show up to you. Updated hours. Monday through Thursday, 5.30 to 3.30. Friday and Saturday, 5.30 to 7.30. Great pies in here. We did a video on this place. You guys have to check that one out. Oh, it's nice. That's a nice dedication. World War II Purple Heart. Alan Red Miller. Country from the heart. This place was established in 1992. We've been in here before. A lot of nice little knickknacks. Kind of show you. Some bird houses, other items. You notice anything about the area? They still leave everything out. Yeah. I mean, that's how trustworthy. Yeah, this stuff is just sitting out here. I mean, some of it's even priced at what, $50, $60, just sitting right along the road. Of course, there are cameras. But... Yeah. <laughs> the colorful cookery pizza shop. Good pizza. We did a review on that. They have that great uh, snack. With all the fruit on it. That was the bubble waffle. The bubble waffle we have here. Oldest yep. House. Yep. 1817. Inside here they have Bath and Body, Homestead Decor, Adventure Goods, 1870 Mining Company. I don't think we've ever been in this one. I can't remember. I thought we had. Let's see. Yeah, we've been in here. Oh, we have? Yep. Got some candles in there. Well, I don't remember, so we might have to go back. Yeah, we might have to. Beyond 1817 in there. Nice better place to sit down. Always have a lot of chairs out here in this town for people to sit down on. Don't think I've ever noticed this. The 1817 Mining Company. It's all on the front of that building, but I guess you go in there and pan for gemstones and fossils. Says it around back. It's closed now. Kids love this. Our grandson really enjoyed when we did it in Pigeon Fork. Yeah, right here. 
I don't remember ever seeing this. So right there, guys. Not sure what the price is, but maybe sometime when they're open, we'll walk down and look at this. There's more of the stuff. 100-year-old barn wood signs in there. What'd you say this was? This is an elite cabin maker or something? Cabinetry? They make kitchen cabinets. Countertops. Yeah, bath, bath band. So. Mudroom lockers. Buffets. They are also closed. Don't you like, Bobby? There's just so many places to sit down walking up through here. I do like that. That way you can take a little break. Yeah, especially on a hot day like this. Got local artists, handcrafted, high grade, locally made goods. T-shirts, hoodies, and hats. Now, I can say we have not been in there. I know this, we haven't. This is a place that you need hats. I'll remember to bring mine as well yes. because it is always so windy. We saw this snow cone truck set up yesterday. Country Life Antiques. Now, this is a plaza that has about four or five different places. It has the pretzel nook. Highly recommend going there. Great pretzels. So we'll just take a look at this. And they have a Witz frozen custard around the side. Maybe we'll get some. Maybe. We've never been in there. Place closed at five. There you go again, Bobby. All this stuff just sitting outside. Here's some of the prices. 68.95. Come around here, you have a little courtyard to sit and eat your food. If you want to come back here to the pretzel nook, it's right in front of us. Great soft pretzels in there. Popcorn, candies. Ruthie's gift shop. Now Bobby was in here today. What's all in there, Bobby? I have some clothes, some jewelry. And see the dualies right there? Those are for the 4th of July. They have a lot with flowers and Christmas, fall, for your table. We sat out here earlier today and just relaxed and watched the cars go by. Come around this side. Down here. Wits Frozen Custard. And I think Bobby was kind of hinting to me that she might want to try this place out. It was a big hit. I was hoping you would take it. All right. Well, let's go in and see what they have. Wits Frozen Custard. Open till 7. Another place we've never been into. Let's go get something. Here's what they have. Scoops. There's all the different toppings. Favorites. Banana splits. Hot chocolate. Sunday. Cookie blitz. Some floats. There's some different sundaes. And they have a kids menu. Here's the Main Street Madness. Bobby got the a weekly special. Raspberry lemon, lemonade. Lemon raspberry. Oh, lemon raspberry, that's right. And I got mine in a Look at that. That's pretty. <laughs> All right. It's really cold. But the lemon flavor, you can really taste it. Taste a little bit of raspberry. That's, I like this. Okay, and you eat that bowl when you're done. Yeah. All right. Fudge, guys. You got some nuts in there, some brownie pieces. Get a brownie piece. That looks so good. That is so good. I mean, look at all that hot fudge. They were not skimping on that hot fudge. No, they were not. Got all that. Look at all those big pieces of brownie in there. Ice cream. Glad we stopped in. We've never yeah. been in this place before. We gotta get started eating this because custard melts faster. Yeah. Wish you guys were here to eat this with us. Try that, Bobby. Yeah. I love sugar cones. You're gonna love that. I just want to show you all the brownie in there. This is so rich. What did you think of it though? It, it, it's good, but it's very rich. I like this one better. You do like that one better? Mm -hmm. Not me. I'm all about chocolate. If you like chocolate, definitely want to get one of those. Just came out of Wits. What did you think? 
I got the lemon raspberry, which is their special for the week. So I did enjoy that. And I like the cone with a little bit of chocolate on it. Because I could just eat the cones. Like when we buy sugar cones, I just like to eat them. That was 1025 for both of them. I want to show you the parking lot behind here. We showed it before, but it's all free. I don't think it charge you anywhere in town, but this is a good location to park at. There's the water tower. So we're going to head up this way, but this is right here on the main street. Just come down from the pretzel nook right around back. Get you some frozen custard. Let's head over here. There's a used bookstore. Now I'm not a fan of pork rinds, but that's what this store specializes in. A lot of people love them. So the Cracklin Pig. Homemade pork rinds and bacon puffs. Gift shop and locally made favorites. And in there, as you can see, there are their hours. Everything's closed on Sunday. This place is only open until 5. Headed down here, the place you can stay, lodging on the square. I've looked this place up, thought about staying here before. It's not too bad. It'd be a nice location. It would be. I mean, you're close to everything. It's got souls right down there. So the whole town, as you can tell by, we're walking it for you. There's not much to it. Looks like there's plenty of parking on the sides. Veterinarian. In case you bring your pet, guess get sick. The Berlin Cottages. Don't know much about this place. Don't even know if I've looked it up. Looks like this has uh, three or four rooms on this side. Need a room? There's a number. Cabins, cottages, and suites. Homes, so, and back. What do you think of those? What's something like that cost? Let's find out. That one, $495. And this, $520. This is a place we went to the other night. Well, this is a dentist office, and I don't know if this is a, maybe apartments for people to live here, but. East of Chicago Pizza. What did you think of that, Bobby? Very nice buffet we have. They have a nice taco pizza. And they're open right now. So this is one of the few places that's open. And right past this, I think, is a kid's shop. And they're open on Sunday. And Sunday. That's real important. Because there's hardly anything open on Sunday. There's also a pharmacy in here. If you would need something but you're not gonna find a Walmart right around here next to east of Chicago barn quilts lots of color choices chairs on top of the building plenty of outside lawn decorations and a kids collection down here it's back up through there Gifts and toys for girls and boys. As dollhouses, puzzles, toys, books, and games. This looks pretty nice, this eagle. $130 for this eagle. Let's just take a look at it. That'd be nice for the 4th of July. American flags. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're pretty much at the end of this town, on this side. Used to be a barbecue place that sat there. We wanted to go there. Must have went out. Now we're going to head up this side of the street. German Village Center. Has all these shops. It's right behind Souls back there. This is one of the most popular places here in town. Souls. Bobby likes this place. A lot of things for your outside. But they have uh, nice candles. And a lot of pretty pictures I think we've gotten before mm -hmm. for Christmas that light up. And I bought a fake cake here. It looks like a chocolate cake with strawberries. And someone thought it was actually a real cake when they came to the house. A lot of neat stuff, especially at the holidays. They put a lot of different uh, 
Christmas stuff in here. A must stop when you're here in town. Also located here is this homemade ice cream. I'm not sure of the hours. He makes it all on that machine right there. Gives it out that window. That's where you buy it at. Try some free samples. There's the German village. A lot of chairs for sale up there. Kind of tells you what all they have. American crafts, country crafts, something for everyone. Established in 1993. Which one? West Virginia Country Road. Oh, yeah. Always leave me home. Right there. Yeah. We love these little signs. $17.95 for the holder. You can buy these individually. You have to pick these out. Right over here is all kinds of them. I like this one. It's pretty. One is pretty. Have some with animals on it. Almost missed this. This is like $3.99. Guess you can put anything you want in there, letters or what. In the morning when I rise, give me Jesus. It's a nice little item. Berlin, Ohio. Got more things here for outside. Wishing well there. Oh yeah. It's a nice wishing well back there. These are Little ones are $9.99 for the frog. Bigger ones are $19.99. So it says here they have over 400 crafts. Yeah, 400 of them in there. 400 different kind of vendors that sell stuff in there that they uh, represent. I like this eagle. He is a $149. Nice to have the flags going up the street. Souls Art and Crafts Mall Kitten and Caboodle. What's the stuff we need for the yard? What? Oh. Foot. That's big. <laughs> Let's go see how much it costs. This is in front of Andrea's store. No price on him. He broke his foot. He's a band aid there. He's full size. I'm going to go stand beside him. So look at your foot compared to his. Yeah, he's a. I see little, my shadow. Yeah, he's a little big bigger. The hands are. He's pretty nice. It's pretty neat. Bobby, look how they did this buggy with the flowers. My flowers. It's pretty neat how they displayed that. Some pretty flowers back here. That's big. I'd like to have that hanging on your house. Oh, that's pretty. All of them are nice. There's a smaller Bigfoot's back there. I like the big one. There's prices for some of the hanging baskets. $29.99 or two for 50. So, those are pretty good size for $29.99. Here's the front of that store I just showed you. A lot of nice stuff, but that's a pretty good deal for the hanging basket, $29. Bird houses, a lot of signs. Next to that, leather store. What do we have here, Bobby? We have some vests, belts, purses, wallets, and holsters. All leather. Look how they made a bike out of those tires. Oh, that's pretty neat. They must sell Harley Davidson stuff in here. Yep. My other seat is a Harley Davidson. They're also only open till five. Here's the name of this place. AC Leather. Biker apparel and accessories. That's chaps, coats, wallets, bike bags, purses, boots and vest. The First Baptist Church of Berlin. Now we're coming back up on Market Street. Peaceful out here, huh? It is right now during the uh, morning hours. It's busy. Yeah, that's the busiest time. It says they have music on the square at certain times. Got the dates for that. Never been up there when that's been going on. 
let's walk back to this gazebo. Nature's blessing. Has some vitamins and herbs in there. Right here. So you come in here and sit down and relax. It's pretty nice. It's nice and cool in here. It is cool right here. Yeah, perfect. This would be a nice place when they have a band across the street, that music on the square to sit here and watch. Yeah, right there. See the little stage set up now. Ginger House Coffee. They have what, gourmet sandwiches, coffee, smoothies. Looks like they're still open. They're open, doesn't have their hours what time they close, but there's people in there, but not sure what time they close. Old time homespun. A lot of crafts, wood crafts signs. This one says it opens at 10 and closes at 5. 10 to 5. And this is a pretty neat store. This magic shop. They have live shows in here. They have a lot of neat stuff. Especially if you like little magic tricks. Yeah, practical joke things. They have Elvis right here. They have Marilyn Monroe, Elvis, I Love Lucy, John Wayne. A lot of neat stuff. Okay. Well, you know what? We might have to go in here and talk to the owner and have that changed. That shouldn't happen. But they have a little theater in here. You can go in and buy tickets. Might be something we have to do sometime. We've been in here several times, but never saw a show. The pretty flowers, but I like that fountain. It is a nice fountain. Look, man, those flowers are pretty. Yeah, you like the two kids on that, huh? I do. So here we have Action Jackson. Now say that. Yeah, we tried times. to say it. it kind of messed up. <laughs> Sports collectibles. That autograph center. Camping apparel. Burger King. Oh, that's not a, not going to say there's not a Burger King here. It has a Burger King west of town on Route 39. Must be an ad for it. We have a white the White Raven. Raven. Some jewelry. Yep. Collector nice. knives. It's the most unexpected shop in Berlin. We've never been in that one. I don't remember being in that one. I don't think I we have. To try this Kelly's boutique. Let's go see. Take a look. What oh, you see you like? I like this one. I like the the picture. It is pretty. $26.99. So it's like a little uh, clothing store, I'm guessing. Stop texting and change my diaper. There you go. Yeah. What kind of different stuff in there. Yeah, we'll have to swing in here one day. Looks like I have a lot of different things. Now this next store we've been in, this is a uh, soap store. Amish Country Soaps they have locally made old-fashioned skin care lotions and some bath bombs they have men's things and they have no uh, filters preservatives or it's all chemical free so that's nice. that's nice this is nice public restrooms yeah you need to go Right there, I think they have a uh, that pop machine or yeah, they have cold drinks. So that's good to know. Right across from Boyd's public restrooms. Besides the bathroom being there, they have a machine where a drinks are only a dollar. Let's see if it works. So if it's not teasing me. Yeah, it's coke. It's not walking, it's generic. Very hot. Not bad. You don't usually see. And it's cold. One dollar. Got some flavor, so another reason to come right across from Boyd's. Pick you up a Coke. Right, the next store. Let's see a name on it. Another store with a lot of different crafts. I don't see a name on this one. I don't know if that's it. Nope, that's just an ad for another place. 
not sure what this one's called but they have a lot of different crafts quilt shop ham's place quilts quilted purses seasonal and home decor studio designs one-of-a-kind home furnishings in the lower level right down there Bobby pointed this out didn't know this was here they have an escape room also down here so if you got some kids that are bored because they're coming to Amish country they can go to the escape room look at those handmade what are those purses or baskets and handmade leather goods sold here I told you wrong this isn't where the handmade leather goods are at they're down this other street Main Street Lodge not sure what that is looks like it's closed down doesn't it yeah it does couldn't tell you what that is then headed back down to where we started that's basically about all there is here. A couple more stores, I think, up here on the right. Back up at the stoplight. Look at that chair. This is Hoffman's Home Decor and More. Now that is a chair. Well, they have. Let's just see. Take a look in the window. If they have anything to look at. Have some gnomes, other items. Uncle Sam. Show us how to get out of that big chair, John. Oh, that's tough. It's pretty comfortable though. Hard to tell what you figure. That probably cost two or three thousand mm -hmm. dollars or more. That's basically about it. Told you when we started. Plain and simple diners open a little later, so they have some business selling stuff to eat. The Durbake Oven Bakery and cafe don't think we've been here before yeah I'll walk over real quick and see what's on the side of it what they serve I think I see a menu here's a drive through menu some baked goods some drinks some pastries some ice cream and I think in the front it says they have fresh strawberry shortcake and pie Maybe we'll have to do a vlog in here one day. Open 9 to 2. And there's where we started. I think there might be one more place. Chirac's. Heritage Furniture. Barnwood Dining Room and Bedroom. And that is it. That's your whole tour of downtown Berlin. Well, how'd you like our little walk, Bobby? I enjoyed it. We needed to walk after eating all the <laughs> yeah. places up here. And that custard that we got, we walked that off. Both of those were really good. Mm -hmm. And I enjoyed seeing some of the shops that we haven't got to yeah. go into yet. Yeah, there's more shops. That, I thought we went into about all of them, but I didn't know that little gem mine was there. And an escape room. Yeah. So that's kind of nice for kids. Mm -hmm. so if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe yeah so until we meet again j and b, b have left the building <laughs>